was never seen. Okay, we've been talking on NCE chat room in the thing about Raspberry Pi and the Wi-Fi. This is at the Mid-South Model Railroad Club. This is the Raspberry Pi computer. And, and you get a good prospectus here of what the size is because those are uh, uh, circuit breakers for the system which is right here. So you see the cable right here uh, Okay, that goes from this. This is a, a converter, and I don't know the type, I'm sorry. That converts the USB connection into a serial port. Uh, that was done a while ago by another club member that in here. And then it runs up and plugs into the uh, Raspberry Pi, which was the programming for it was done by someone, and you just put the SD card in it and download it. So then you end up with uh, a Y throttle, which is right here, We throttle. This is uh, going to be a uh, actually a We throttle, and this is an iPhone. Okay, so this works either way, iPhone or Android. Okay, so now we have a uh, train uh, thing, and we're going to set... Uh, Okay, he's got the thing and we're going to go forward. Turn the headlight on. No headlight. Try it again. Flip it back and go. Oh. oh, there we go. Okay. Close the horn. Now, the one thing about this system, this is a large model railroad club. B, this is the back room. It's 1,800 square feet. We operate in here. You could end up as many as 15, 16 people in here running trains at a time. Uh, they, I won't mention a name, but someone, one of the two major uh, suppliers of digital uh, digitally controlled contrain systems, DCC, uh, and since it's not NCE, y'all can take a pretty good guess, just come out with a unit, but that unit only will handle four devices. We've been in here when there's six and seven devices going, so that type of approach is not going to be satisfactory but for somebody who's in a home use that wants something for a second controller. Uh, so anyway, he's sitting here running his train using his iPhone. It works on iPhone as we throttle. We throttle light. Uh, now, uh, it's WI uh, light. Uh, for Android, it's engine driver. The program is Engine Driver. And uh, there's the name for, I, for iPhone. For uh, Android, it's called Engine Driver. If you're going to go into a full-blown use of the whole NCE control panel system and be able to do everything on Wii Throttle, you'll have to buy the whole pro... You'll have to buy and pay for the whole app, which is, I think, $10. On an engine driver on Android, the whole thing is free. But if you just want to run a train, it's free. We throttle, you can download it just to run a train and there's no charge. Uh, so let's move on. So again, you know, here you have a uh, NCE. This is a full command station. Uh, we're running 15, well, we know we're actually running 30. There's another part to this whole system. Um, this is 15 uh, amps here, and I'll take you in the back and see the rest. But the we throw now that operates. This is up in the front room. It works up in here. Now this is a metal building, and uh, we don't have any issues here with it going throughout. The the we this uh, pie 
Raspberry Pi thing has has a uh, its own Wi-Fi in it, so you don't have to have a separate router uh, to do it. And there's the there's the uh, actual physical installation for it. Uh, interesting story about this whole club, but I won't get into it. Just visualize uh, right up there to where you see that uh, OSB and the sheetrock cut. That's where the high water mark was. This club went underwater in uh, 2016 in August. Uh, we had 27 inches of water in here. And uh, that's a lot of the long story. It's, uh, but that's uh, where we're going. This is the other 15 amps in the club for the back building or for the back section of the railroad. Uh, with all of the circuit breakers, the power supplies, and the uh, three five amp boosters. Now this is your command bus, just for you programmers. This runs from the uh, command station, or it actually is daisy changed from the last booster all the way back here. So you have the continuity can on the command signal. Uh, the track bus all runs off the commands, the kit cab bus all runs off the uh, system in the front. And that takes a little bit of effort too. One thing I want to also point out here is it was mentioned using an, a UTP panel for a splitter. Here's a UPT panel used for a splitter. Here is your main feed right here for your care bus. One of those leads off of the th other three is for the radio antennas. And then one lead is for, goes to the back room and one lead comes around a care bus that runs around the front room. And believe me, we do not have any issues with any of this. It works. And up there in the ceiling, if you could see it, is one of the antennas. Now we have an antenna here. There's another one over there. Uh, it's considered a pinion here. Those, it's, this is the RBO1. That's an RBO. Uh, that's an extension unit. And then you go into the back room and there's two more back there. But we kind of think we're over killing it we think that we really can go to one antenna in each room uh, experiments coming we'll let you know how it works out okay so this is the Android app right there JMR we throttle engine driver so this gentleman is running his train right up here with his Android phone Okay, so it's it works great. Now, right now, we have about four people running trains in this room on phones. So, this is a big club, and uh, like I said, you got to be prepared to handle all this. That's why I'm saying that anything that's produced needs to handle way more people, way more uh, phones than four.